Okay, so this video pertains to some updates we need to make to VirtualBox for quality of life. So if you're not using VirtualBox, you can go ahead and skip this video. If you are, buckle in. We just need to do a couple of quick updates and then we should be good for the rest of the course. So go ahead and go out to Google and Google VirtualBox extension pack. What it's gonna bring up is just the downloads page of VirtualBox. So we're gonna wanna go here and on this page, if you look kind of towards the middle, you'll see that there is a virtual box extension pack here. We're going to just click all supported platforms and that will automatically download the file that we need. So once that is downloaded and pause, if you need to go ahead and open virtual box and you can come in here and up at the top, we're going to go ahead and click on preferences. And from here, we are interested in extensions. See extensions right here. Go ahead and click on that. There's a little plus sign. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you should have your downloads right here. So we're going to take the downloads and just go ahead and install that. Hit install. Read this. Give away your firstborn. Accept all the terms. And you should be good. Very quick install. OK. The second thing we need to do is we need to come to the one tab up here above, which is network. We're going to go ahead and hit the network button or this add button. And we're going to add what is called a NAT network. Okay. And we're going to come in here and we're going to double click and you can go ahead and keep these defaults. I'm going to actually change them to 192.168.57.0 because that's what's going to be used through the rest of the course. And that is what the CIDR notation of my Kali machine and my Keyoptrix, which you'll see later, et cetera, all fell into this 57.0. So we're going to go ahead and keep it on this NAT network. Make sure you support DHCP. Go ahead and just hit OK. Hit OK. And then for a machine, and make sure any machine that you use, again, any machine that you use in this course, make sure you set it to NAT network if you're using VirtualBox. So you can come in here, click on a machine like this mail machine I have here. You can just click on that settings, go to network, and then you can go ahead and just go to NAT network. All right. And that name right here, you see name NAT network. That's all we're going to use. That'll automatically set it up. So when you have a Kali machine running later and you have Keoptrix or another box running, or even when we build out an active directory lab, you need to make sure that you're running that NAT network so that all of the machines are on the same subnet. If you don't, you might run into a situation where uh, the same IP comes up for the same machine and then they're uh, conflicting with each other or you get on different networks and some weird stuff happens. So make sure again that it's imperative that you're setting that net network for every single machine that you're setting up. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next video in this section.